what's good, y'all? Listen, it's Sunday. I am not a religious person. I don't go to church. I don't really even believe in the concept of a building um, and having somebody having to preach to you. But I'm going to tell you what I do believe in and what I want to talk to y'all about today. Because in real life, um, for those of y'all who don't know, I just got back not even a, 30 minutes ago um, from a retreat. Clearly, it was, a, it was supposed to be a weekend retreat, but y'all saw me back in Milwaukee at a vigil. Um, so even a retreat ain't a retreat because I cannot, like... To be honest with you, um, we at a point in our history, in our total history as black folks in this country, where we have to create our own version of normal around us, motherfucker. Because when I left this retreat, even though I really wasn't completely invested and I didn't stay there, and it wasn't all kick back and relax. Um, when I left there, I was very much so energized. I got to, I really got to get some sleep last night. Um, we had some decent food, man. We was, you know, we was building among the people who went. But it's very draining. It, it's very draining the level of need that people have. Um, and the fact that they have to reach out to people who are not their family, who outside of their family, the, the lack of support. It's really, um, it's really sad. But to be honest, you know, I look past so much because I understand what I'm looking at. And I understand that we are in a, a point in our history as people. We are in a point in our history of um, this country. We don't have a sense of normal. None of this is normal. We've never been able to, to live under normal circumstances. And even the times that we create our own versions of normal, um, it, it gets destroyed. It gets undermined and it gets destroyed. And that's the facts. I don't care who has something to say about that or who could dispute it. It's not disputable. Every time we build, we talk about Black Wall Street, but we can't, when we talk about Black Wall Street, we can't talk about, we can't skip over what happened to it. And we didn't do nothing wrong to deserve that. We built our own shit. Not just here. We had a we had a fucking Black Wall Street here in Milwaukee. And it got bulldozed. We didn't do nothing to deserve that. They tried to put us in a box. And we made a castle out of a fucking box. And they bulldozed it. So we have not been able to live in any version of normal in this country. And it's, it's really sad. It's really sad. So, you know, I'm just in a mindset, man. It's so many people, man, that, you know, I don't understand how people can live in this world and not care. I can't, you know, people aren't expendable to me. They're not expendable to me. I care about, um, you know, the, the it, it, it makes me, not only can I not do enough for people out here who don't know me uh, and that I don't know, I'm just, I just try and want to help them. It's people around me that I actually give a fuck about who going through shit, including myself, that I can't I can't even do nothing for myself or them. I appreciate every person like like right now I got I got on new clothes. That's not something that I, I honestly did for myself. Like I appreciate man, people support me to the point where they do nice shit for me, where they look out for me. But it's very difficult to look around and see the level of struggle, the level of need. The level of, you know, despair around this motherfucker. And it's not all our fault. If you can control any conditions around yourself, I'm going to tell you, man, do the best that you can to, to have some type of control over your own destiny. To have some type. I'm not going to sit here and tell you every person can um, pull themselves up by some fucking bootstraps. I was just saying the other day, some motherfuckers get the bootstraps took from them. You know when you go to jail and they take your shoelaces? A lot of motherfuckers getting their shoelaces took, and they're not even in jail. I, I'm 30 minutes back from a retreat, and I'm literally on my way to Kenosha to go right back into 
a situation for people who need help. You feel me? I'm right back. Got to come right back here in Milwaukee at 6 to support another family, the Acevedos, and they continue quest for their need for justice, their need for retribution, um, atonement for what happened to them and their family. It's, it's really sad, dude. To, to think our existence is going to be this for any amount of time. I'm 34 years old. Anybody who's a young person right now, they sh I, I, I'm really seriously, we got to wrap this shit up, man. We have to wrap this shit up and we got we to gotta deal with this. This can't be no issue 30 years from now. Because I still hear people talk about fair housing. We don't have fair fucking housing. I honor all my ancestors and I honor all the work they did before me. But nigga, I'm not celebrating some shit when we still got the same issues. I'm not celebrating no fucking march for no fair housing. We don't have fair housing. Ain't shit fair about this fucking housing we have. I'm just saying, man, we got to stop playing. We all have to stop fucking playing. And y'all have to take... I'm telling y'all, when I talk about accountability, I really don't understand, man. It's, it's, it really bothers me the level of playing that we not only entertain, that we allow, man. We don't have time for nobody to be playing games with, with our people and our condition. It's really sad. When we, If y'all really serious about people's lives and deaths, if y'all really are against the violence and the, and the perpetuation, the per perpetuation of the in a cycle that we continue to go through, that our young people continue to go through. Y'all gotta be serious about holding these motherfuckers accountable about the shit they doing. I don't care if they elected. I don't care if they your friends. I, I mean that. I can't sit here and give a fucking speech to young people and say, hey man, tell your guy, don't steal that car. Tell your guy, like, adult, I gotta have a conversation with grown motherfuckers to keep it all the way 1,000. Because a grown motherfucker can run around here and do something and grown people gonna protect them. I said this time and time again, man. This is why I don't really, you know, to, for me to, to to consider somebody a real friend of mine, part of that friendship is holding you to fuck accountable. And if you do something wrong, I might put my hands on you. It, it really ain't no might. It just depends on what exactly you did. Because there's some accountability that gotta happen there. Cause as my friend, whatever the fuck you do, that shit looks bad on me. That means I condone the shit that you did. That means I'm, I'm riding with you for bullshit. I'm, we can't put, we cannot be out here sending mixed messages. We cannot be out here sending mixed messages. And the message I'm gonna consistently display is accountability. It's a fucking accountability. Now, if you need me to explain what I'm doing and how it relates to accountability, I'll gladly explain. Just call me out on something you think I'm doing that don't display or promote accountability. But these speeches, I, it, bro, y'all really, um, nothing in particular happened. I'm just, I'm just, I'm continuing to come into a realization that as long as we plan, I can expect to be doing this shit for another 10, 20, 30 years. And I'm... I, at some point, I would like to enjoy a regular fucking life. At some point, I would, I would rather be able to focus on my team and my people and those around me who also need the fucking help. At some point, I, I want to see a world where it's attainable, the shit that we want and that we need. That's what the problem is. I'm not seeing that right now. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that we're going to be stuck in this fucking loop for, for fucking forever because people are playing. The Republicans are fucking playing. These Democrats are fucking playing. And I'm telling y'all, motherfuckers think they radical. Motherfuckers think they doing shit out here that's pushing the envelope. The envelope's gonna get pushed off the fucking table. Because I'm telling you, everybody gonna get held accountable. I'm not playing this year. I've been played with enough, and I see people get continue to get played with. This shit is gonna change. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna change. That's not a threat. It's, it's a promise that I... I'm not finna be, bro, this, I'm 10 years into this shit. That's not a badge of honor. That's not a badge of honor.
that's not a badge of honor for nobody to wear. That you've been fighting your whole goddamn life for some shit to change and the shit's still the same. But we gonna celebrate you though. No, we need to honor what you did and the work that you put in. But a celebration, we can't celebrate till this shit over. We can't celebrate till this shit over. It's work to do. And it ain't that hard is the worst part. It's not that hard for people, you know, to just be and do the right thing. You just be and do the right thing. I want to invest my time and my energy into supporting real life people, man, and, and the shit that they want. I'm sorry, uh, Erica. Uh, it won't. I'm on this phone and it won't let me. This is not the phone that I can add people on my live from. I will have to be live from one of my other phones to do it. Because I just tried to add you and it told me live guests. Uh, no answer from live guests. So it's not. It still won't let me do this from this phone. Um, I just want to send some positive vibes out there, man, and some real life. Y'all gonna see some shit from me this year. Y'all really are gonna see some shit from me, and I need you to understand where I'm coming from when you see the shit that you see, because we don't have time to play. We don't have time to play, and we don't have time to continue to give people the benefit of the doubt and hope, to hope and just think that they're gonna do the right thing. That's not, that's not happening. You give people chance after chance after chance and they don't do the right thing. So then what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to keep giving them chances for the rest of our fucking lives? No. Hell no. There's a lot of cities and a lot of states around this motherfucker. And, and, and a lot of them people are playing. So a lot of people ain't gonna get no fucking justice. A lot of people are not gonna get no fucking justice. And a lot of people are going to continue to be subject to the same cycle that we all supposed to be against. Whether our young people are, or any any of our people are being killed by law enforcement, it, whether we being killed day to day on these streets, all of these are cycles that we say and that we know must end. Kids can't fucking play at a goddamn park, man. People can't call the police for protection and not end up dead. People can't get pulled over for broken tail lights and suspended license and, and whatever the for speeding. Motherfuckers can't walk down the goddamn street. Motherfuckers can't be in a nice neighborhood. It, it's just, it's this ain't life. This ain't life. And, and one of the things that I said, man, we in this constant circle of lying to ourselves we the whole concept of america is a fucking lie and until we say that it's a fucking man we gonna continue to live in this dream state this is not the land of the fucking free and the home of the goddamn brave this is not a fucking melting pot it's not a melting pot because people are here you have to treat them as if they are welcome here and they're wanted here for it to be what you say that it is Milwaukee always talk about segregation, but then they also like to talk about diversity. This is diverse. This is diverse. No, motherfucker. Same way people using these terms, calling themselves activists, like, we can't be lying, fam. We can't be lying. Because then people buy into lies. Right? It is traumatizing to expect something, to expect that I live in a country that says I'm supposed to be equal, and this shit on a piece of paper that's supposed to be law that everybody buy into that say this and the shit that I'm seeing don't add up to that. I'm confused. You confusing me. It's confusing because people are fucking playing. You have people who claim that they goddamn Christians, but they fucking the most judgmental, worst. They on here talking about killing people. They laughing on stories of fucking people's kids and babies dying. Y'all Christians? And y'all want people to buy into the goddamn church? Y'all y'all want people to buy into this concept, but this is how you're acting. You want to be the basis of morality, but you are the most immoral goddamn person around this motherfucker. I'm not saying that people can't be flawed. 
every fucking person on this on this earth is flawed. There is not a perfect person on this earth. But you need to be intentional about who you are. And some of these people are not being intentional. They're, they're side uh, stepping. They're living in just as much as a dream, a dream state. That's why I said, man, the, the, ain't nobody confused down south who, who's with what. Motherfuckers got their Confederate flags. Motherfuckers might pull up with their goddamn KKK suits on. You know who don't fuck with you, and you know who do. Up here, everybody lying. Everybody lying. I ain't racist, but <laughs> you, the shit you just said and did, nigga, says otherwise. So I'm confused. I've been sitting here eating with you. I've been breaking bread with you. You didn't mother, yeah, your kids know my kids. And the shit you just said and did goes against everything you kind of claim that you're not racist. It's worse up here. It's worse in, in the goddamn north, in the Midwest. It's worse. I'm saying it's only certain people, man, that's that's from those worlds, and you have to deal with people on an individual basis. Because I'm not gonna say sit here and say, but th but these are reasons why the church cannot lead the movement no more. This is time over for that shit because the church has become about the church and the people inside the building. The same way a lot of these organizations, they don't give a fuck if you're not part of their organization. If it happened outside their door, they don't give a damn. I'm telling y'all, this is the, these are the systems and the ideologies and the actions that people are displaying, the, 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 the mindsets that people are buying into. I care, but I represent, listen, I'm a rep king. Y'all gonna hear me talk about king. Y'all gonna hear me talk about 2-5. Y'all gonna hear me talk about Berlazu. But any motherfucker who on this earth that is black is also, I'm also obligated and I'm also uh, attached uh, emotionally and in, in, in all, all other ways to those people as well. It's not just me and them. I don't have the mentality to where it's, it's only us. If your last name ain't Mays or your last name ain't Harris, I don't fuck with y'all. I'm not this. That's not what what we doing. You can rep whatever you want to rep. You can love who you want to love. But at the end of the day, if this supposed to be about a unified force. You can't be excluding folks. When I say all black lives, I mean all black lives. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers who using these titles, who using these weaponized words, they don't mean nobody no fucking no fucking good, but they got damn self. And they attaching themselves to different movements and causes for self fucking gain. They starting up a bunch of shit for self fucking gain. They don't fucking care about the rest of y'all. I just get sick of this shit, man, because I can't live no regular life. I, there's there's not one. I, I, I just told them people, man, at this retreat, you know when I be at home and I hear gunshots, you know what the first thing that, that come in my mind? I want to get in my fucking car and try to find out where the gunshots are so I can see if somebody got hit or or if I can help somehow. That's what goes through my mind when I hear gunshots. It ain't, damn, it's dangerous. Get down, everybody. I want to leave Milwaukee. And it's not how my mind works. At all. I have to struggle with that. But in the middle of struggling with that and having that level of humanity for people that I don't know, I have to deal with people who go out of their fucking way to undermine not only what I'm doing, but what other people are doing. I'm talking about genuine shit that's going on. And I don't want to turn this into a conversation about one person. This is... This is well beyond that person. You know what I'm saying? It's well beyond that, you know, that is what it is. I'm saying as a community and as a people, we have to, I'm telling y'all, we got to, we got to, we got to wrap this shit up and we got to be serious about it. We have to be serious about it. And it don't matter if it's me. I don't mind being challenged. Just let it be true. A story was told about me that was not true. It's not fucking true, dude. 
That don't mean go after the person because I don't know if that person put that story out there or not. But I'm, I'm definitely finna check this shit and check into it because, again, if it's something that I'm doing wrong, if I'm wrong for something, I, I am not above accountability. I, I, I saw that, L. I saw that. Right across the street from the goddamn park. Probably, a, a, you know, I'm assuming it was an adult, a grown person. But across the street from where, again, children and kids are supposed to find as a safe place that they can go. You got people getting killed across the street and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, but again, I'm looking at this shit and just, just as much at, at fault as the person is who killed that person is these motherfuckers who sit in these positions, who have all the access to the resources and the money, who have all the ability to correct a lot of this shit so that we don't have so many of the issues that we have. They're not doing it. They're not doing it on purpose. They have to be doing it on purpose. Yes, it's people that I know, it's people I have relationships with, it's people that I'm cordial with, but ain't nobody above accountability. Nobody. Including myself. So again, if a person calls me out, you listen, if you see my name tagged in something and it's negative, nine times out of ten, you're going to see me pull up on that motherfucker and comment like, what's good? What did I do? Because I won't answer. If it's something that I did, then I'm going to apologize. I'm going to say, you know what? Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't think of it like that. That's not what I meant. Whatever the case may be. But nine times out of ten, down there ten times out of ten, it'd be bullshit. It'd be people who have whatever grievance, whether they... I, I don't be, you know, I'm not in people's head. I don't know how people think. You feel me? But... Again, it's, a, it's about accountability. And I want to be held accountable. Because I... I'm here for whatever reason. However I got to be who I am in the position that I am, I'm here. Okay. Erica blocked? How she blocked out? And I'm telling y'all, I'm not a, I'm not a fucking liar. I'm, I'm a, one thing y'all gonna understand about me, I'm not gonna lie on no person. I'm not gonna lie on no person. I'm not a hater like that. Anything that I say about anybody is factual shit. Now, if it's wrong, if I got some wrong information, I'm gonna say, you know what? Damn, that ended up not being true. My bad. But nine times out of ten, I done did my due diligence, fam. And the shit that I'm talking about is. Shit. Shit that can be proven and shit that I've witnessed with my own full eyes, nigga. And when I got two pair of glasses, my own six eyes. Because I'll take these motherfuckers off and put the other ones on to make sure I'm seeing what I saw. But I'm going on news stories, man, about kids dying and motherfuckers on that cracking jokes. Motherfuckers use every opportunity to down and to down talk and to demean black people as a do y'all not realize we have like five, six hundred thousand people in this city and you have under two hundred people typically being killed? That ain't even one fucking percent. That's not even one percent. That don't mean it's not important. But to to say that a whole entire race, side of town, community of people ain't shit when it's on, we, we know this we know it's always a small percentage of the majority that's gonna be out here running around on that bullshit it's, all, it's always is, that's anywhere that's anywhere but I don't appreciate that shit and I'm not gonna let it ride I'm not gonna let nobody I'm not, I'm not going to let none of that shit ride. I ain't on none of that. I'm not on none of it. Okay, hopefully I'm not tripping. And this is the correct...
I'm just saying, man. I'm gonna continue doing what I gotta do, but we need, we need, we need that that uh. I need that energy, man. I need that continued energy from y'all. You know what I mean? Because again, I don't do this shit for no thank you. And everything that I do ain't on this on, ain't on Facebook. I put so much of it on here because again, when you know, if need be, we can pull resumes and, and I will show you every fucking thing that I've done. Or or enough to where you can't say I'm not or haven't done x y or z but we we just need that continued energy we need that continued energy because this is an extremely stressful continuous um you know cycle to be a part of and a lot of times at, like I said, man, I, I appreciate, I don't have all the answers. I don't know why, you know, X, Y, and Z happens or, or, you know, but I'm glad my mind and my brain worked the way that it, that it worked because it does not allow me, um, very often to, you know, get overwhelmed or to be, you know, but again, we black. We resilient as fuck. Like we get through shit. We been through shit. We gonna go through shit. We gon' we we was here in the beginning. We gonna be here in the end. But what we not finna do? We not finna wait this shit out. We we not finna wait this shit out. The motherfuckers gonna back the fuck up off of us while while we here. Like right now. We 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 don't do that. Oh, 30, 50 years from now, let them deal with it. No fuck that. Yo yo baby has helped not only me. But, you know, her and young people like her um, are, are helping themselves. They're helping, you know, their parents. They're helping their community. They're helping other young people. They're helping older people. You know what I'm saying? Like, really look at this and say, what am I doing? If somebody 15 or 16 can get out here and invest their time and energy and their talents to change in the world, what the fuck am I doing? I can't share a post. I can't like a, a status. I can't tell somebody I come across. Hey, man, you know about this? Have you have you seen this person? Have you heard of this young lady? Like we we need to go take this this young person out for some food and and you know pour into them, have a conversation with them. What's where your level of humanity at? I'm encouraged, man. I'm encouraged because and it, you know. History repeats itself. There's always been some young person who elevates and shines beyond everybody else and really like put, puts us into perspective. When Tay died, I didn't know Tay was who she was. This was a young girl who was in the park. She made, she made it her business to help what we were doing. She made it her business to be a leader. I didn't know she was involved in all the shit she was involved in. I didn't know who she, she was who she was. That was my fault. But it was also going to speak about her character because this is a person who danced, apparently, but been in uh, theater, acting, uh, modeling, uh, all this different shit, poetry, like, and she never talked about herself. Anytime we talked about talents or who could do this, who could do that, she was suggesting the next person. At 20 years old, like, I, I fucking wish, <laughs> I wish I was on that, on this at their age. I fucking wish. So I, I find high value in, in young people. I find very high value. I don't look at everybody or my whole community or my whole race as if, if it's a lost cause and we ain't doing shit. So so we, we ain't never going to fix this shit, so I might as well make some money out of it. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. If you think like that, carry your ass somewhere else with that shit. Because we, we actually are out here trying to change Milwaukee. We're actually out here trying to Keep our youth inspired and encouraged that they can do something with their life. And they not going to die before they graduate or that nothing is waiting out here for them but jail. I was just I was just having a conversation with some people, man. It, like Chicago, you know what's crazy? People talk shit about the level of violence in Chicago, but this is how deep this shit is. You got young people, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
early 20s. Some younger than that. Do you know when some of these people get killed in Chicago, they named the whole community after them and it's honored that this person's name becomes the name taken on by the community and by their peers and it's actually honored? Every, every person on this earth, especially our young men, they want to be they want to be remembered. They want a legacy. They don't know what it is. They don't know what it is to leave something behind. They want to be fucking remembered. They don't want to live here and die. I ask that question all the fucking time. When you die, is you just going to have your family, your friends and say, man, I remember that one time we were laughing. Or is it going to be a line around the motherfucking block talking about the, how great you were and how you inspire people? What type of existence you gonna have on this fucking earth? And to and to fulfill that, these young people are going out there and getting the level of notoriety in a in a negative way, in the only way that they have access and that they know how to. That's fucking deep. That's fucking deep. Because in, in a young person's mind, I want the city named after me. I want this whole motherfucking hood to be named after me. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to get respect and get people's fear and, you know, be loved and be hated and envy to a point where so many people know about me that when I die, my name going to become the name of the hood. That, to some people, that may not make sense, but I, I understand it completely. I understand it completely, man. Every man on this earth wants to leave a legacy. Every boy on this earth wants to one day be a man, but also, even before they think, can think about being a man, if they know how, if anybody has taught them, they know that they need to leave a legacy on this earth. They know that some some kind of, some way, somehow, I want to be remembered before I leave this earth. And when you have somebody who's, who's living in a state you know, of being where they don't have value. They force the value, whether it be negative or positive. It's like wrestling, right? Some wrestlers don't mind being a heel because they build a legacy off being a bad guy. It don't matter if you're a good guy or a bad guy. Both ways, somebody, people are going to know your name. You're going to be a household fucking name, whether you get there from a negative way or a positive way. And you, you sit here and you see people like Trump. You sit here and you see people like, um, you know, um, what's the, the you know, the, the gangsters and the mobsters and shit and how they are glorified. They get movies, TV shows, books. They, they names are etched in stone and in history for negative shit. The same people who will sit up here and make a show out of somebody who poisoned the community who were racist who were murderers, mass murderers they get TV shows books and people glorify them but they talk crazy about the, the what's happening in Chicago the very place that these some of these people came from you know they were just white so again we put conflicting views out there we put, confu we put confusion out there You ain't missing nothing, bro. I'm just talking. I'm just talking about, you know, life in America. Life is as black as a black man. Life is a black person. Life is a, a black young person out here. And how a lot of times, not only are they misunderstood, but how we, whether intentionally or not, misunderstand them because we don't know how to process what we're looking at. Because we looking from somebody else's lens. I'm talking about how, you know, our support sometimes can blind us and have us in a continuous cycle of bullshit because we're not, we want that liberation, but we also become attached, you know, to certain parts of it that we shouldn't be. Certain parts of it that we shouldn't be. <laughs> hey, one thing about me, 
just like now. I'm in Kenosha. I'm out here with the Blakes. They got a function going on. It don't matter who I am in Milwaukee and how notable I am, how many walls I'm on. I'm going to get behind this motherfucking camera and I'm going to put, I'm going to follow their fucking lead. I have no, I have no problem. One thing about leaders is you don't have to beg them or force them to be followers too, because you can't lead nobody if you don't know how to even follow. That there's humility is a part of leadership. To know that at some point somebody's going to be bigger, stronger, faster, smarter, and well more more well equipped than you are. You're not going to be the top person anywhere you go. Anywhere you go, even as men, if we want to think that, like I'm the biggest, baddest, most this Milwaukee is one of the only places I've ever seen that happen. Where, you know, this person is like a serial killer and with military training and uh, somebody who uh, motherfucker. 17 years old and be like, man, fuck you. <laughs> don't ain't never can't shoot. Don't have no aim. Really, really scary. Can't fight. I mean, fuck you. I'm the I'm the wild and toughest motherfucker around here. Like, come on, man. You don't have common sense. Listen, let me tell you something. I I can fight. Which means I also can recognize other motherfuckers that fight. Now, am I scared of them? Hell no. You know. This probably is a bad analogy because <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you are. If, if we if we need to box, fam, then we finna be boxing. I don't give a fuck if you can fight, not fight. Compared to me, nine times out of ten, your ass is not gonna be able to do shit. But hypothetically, motherfucker, um, people who fight can recognize other people who fight. I'm sure y'all have seen um, a video of dude. It was two dudes in a ring, and they ring, they rung the bell, and dude got out the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, my fuck ain't stupid. This nigga said, "Fuck y'all, fuck this money, fuck these fans. I'm not finna get killed. I'm sorry. As well as I know how to fight, I was too old to join boxing, so they was like MMA, and I was like, "Fuck y'all, I'm not finna get kicked in my head. I'm too old to be trying to learn how to kick all of a sudden, nigga. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I'm finna be a regular motherfucker. I'm finna be a regular motherfucker with hands at this point." <laughs> You have to know where you at. Ego is ego. We all have ego, but we all got common sense too. If your ego outweighs your common goddamn sense, then at some point, fam, you might, you might be uh, having a seat, nigga, uh, without, you know, you wanting to, wanting to. Some something or somebody is gonna make you have a seat at some point. I can promise you that. So I'm a, I'm a, give, I'm very close. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna turn this live off. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see where they at. I'm gonna turn this live off and I'm gonna restart it. Um, and we're going to, we're going to uh, get it in with the with the Blakes and the folks here in Kenosha. So man, I appreciate y'all watching, but y'all can uh y'all can tune back in if you would like to see um you know what's getting ready to happen in Kenosha. <sighs> and hopefully later y'all will see. Um, I will be out with the uh, Acevedos as well. So, what's good? Peace. <sighs> Much love, man. Peace. I will come right back. <sighs>